Many of you have asked me lately to explain the paintings in this church. So I ask you, don't get impatient. Most of Gregory's work has to be understood in full context. So typical of Catholic churches are just series of little devotions spattered throughout a church. That didn't make any sense to Gregory. The church is one canvas, you know, and he wants to tell this, this huge story that needs to be told. The war in Europe broke out, and so he was at least 10 years before he could go back to Europe. We just came to do a job, then got stuck here. He could be very difficult. How much of it was just cultural differences? He had come from Europe, he was sophisticated and educated, and he was coming to a, a really a small town where people were just not accustomed to, to the sorts of things that he was into. Some people liked it very, very much. Other people hated it very, very much. And there were not too many people in between. You should cover Adam and Eve, and Gregory said, but you go into churches in Europe and there's naked people being shown. And the bishop said, but that is art. I will not praise my own work, but that I can say, that it came of the depth of my soul. People think of Gregory as an artist, but he was also a fine theologian and a good preacher. So what is Gregory's legacy? So if you come into church, don't think about me, the crazy fellow. <laughs>